Alrighty, folks. Hello and welcome to Five Flag Speedway, Pensacola, Florida. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. Thank you very much for tuning in. Starting six in the number five, quality care of Darren Jarrett throwback scheme. 60 laps, no cautions. It's going to be interesting. I can, I can guarantee that this will be entertaining. Races here always are. So didn't, you know, I'm, I'm still not quite at the level that I want to be with the hot lap. I got some practice in, tried to improve, didn't, you know, got a decent one. Uh, not where I want to be, but I'm starting sixth. I've been feeling pretty good about my lines here, so we'll see how this goes. Pace car in, green flag, let's do this thing. Fourth gear. Roll that high line. Get the power down. Try to hold them off. And didn't do it, the 10 cleared me. Now the 11's working by inside. Try to hold him off. Oh, come on, man. Be ready here, be ready to go. Dang it. My luck this week is just terrible at this track. Lost it, corrected right back into me. It's tell you, man, you came down. Oh well. Nothing you can do about that. Potak got Ooh, in it. That. There's a me. Was that my fault or his there, John? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. It looked like you it looked like you lost it and then you just corrected it right back up into me. You got hit from behind. Fair enough. I felt like I got not hit from behind, but hit from the right side of the car, but maybe it's net code then. I'll just have to watch replay. It could have been net code. It looked like it was just hard race and whatever it was. Go back, go, go back, go hard, hard, hard. Well, what this means is that we're going to go do try to get four more races at this track throughout the week because we didn't really get a good points finish in any of our first four. Come on, 12, don't do that. 16.224. Pro car in front of you on the bottom. Pro car on the bottom. You're a lap car. Don't play bumper tag, you idiot. I don't understand the thought process of lapped cars at this track usually. My race is done, I'm just gonna ride it out and try to get what I can get. How did I Okay, that was a zero hex. I was going to say, I'm like, how did the first one not register as a 4X, but that registered as a 0 somehow? 19.472. Well, we'll see. Thanks for the biddies, NASCAR. Much appreciated. Still out there. Outside is clear. Beamish is out. one of those races that, you know, 
Could have finished really well in it, but I got swept up in the big one. Just nowhere to go. And I got swept up in a really bad way. You know, I lost an extra lap because I had to tow. So that, I mean, I'm four laps down. That's, that's my race. I'm just riding it out and trying not to interfere with anyone else's race. In front of you, he's on the bottom. He's on the bottom. Thank you for the biddies, NASCAR. I really appreciate that, man. What a drag. That's just how my races here have gone this week. Put that time in practicing. I'm running well, minding my own business. And other people wreck. <laughs> Got a qualify pull, I know, Mike. And I didn't. I just didn't have the speed for, I wasn't able to get it down there. Overdrove turn one, kind of like I'm doing. I need to get it settled back right down on the bottom through one and two. Four laps down. Hey, Westicles, how's it going? Just sucking at eye racing, you know, the usual. Losing more eye rating. Oh man, it's been a pretty discouraging week of racing outside of one good finish at Chicago. And you know, I've had some good runs at Five Flags where I feel like I've been running well. I just, I have not gotten through a race without getting caught up in a wreck yet. So that's getting pretty frustrating. But I'm going to keep at it because I know that I can win here if I can just get it sorted a little bit better. If I can have a race break my way, I know I've got speed. Run down this 12 car in front of me. Hey, wow. I'm overdriving the entry of three. I'm actually intentionally going high on the entry in three and trying to angle my exit off four to straighten out that exit. It smooths it out and makes it less likely that I'm gonna, now I'm definitely overdriving the entry of one. That's not overdriving right there. That's a deliberate choice in line that I've found really smooths it out. I think Polar was trying to stand the lead lap there in case the cops were going out the center. Wasn't doing nothing. I gave him the half that and let him go. 16.614. Need to just hold it down lower and turn one. In front of you on the bottom. I'd give you the whole Oh, uh, hey, there we go. Yeah. More in wrecking. The in the bottom. Yeah, okay. Everybody's doing a good job. Long ways to go. Well, Long ways to go. each time that happens, it opens up a possibility that I might be able to gain something. How are my lap times complain, comparing to the leader right now? I can see that I'm gaining on third and fourth. Whoa! NASCAR with the biddies just dropping like 
Dropping them like it's hot, man. That's awesome. Thank you. All the way to the top of the leaderboard. Look at that. Thank you very much, NASCAR 0613. I really appreciate it. Two tenths slower than the leader. Okay. It's good to know. 16 sevens are two tenths slower. Ah, Stike's done. Robert Roche had a terrible race. A lot of us having terrible races. I'm not the only one. Maybe I can get a top 10 out of it. Slowing down a little bit earlier for one, that's probably a good idea, yep. Sixteen eight two on that lap, but I had a sixteen six the lap before. What kind of time is the leader running now? Leaders running a 16.6, okay. Actually lost a little bit of time to Robert Arch as well. Closing on the 12. Gee whiz! NASCAR with another 300 bits in the football giveaway. Go get it. You run 16 twos here? Do you run 16 twos on lap 40? <laughs> I can run a 16 0 on my hot lap, but not with the tires this old. 16 7. By the eight. That's not a position, but the 12 will be. Last lap was a 16 9. Tenth off or right on the leader's time without traffic. That's not bad. We'll just go around this guy on the high side. He's going to make it tough on us. going to make it back to the top 10, but he's seven seconds in front. There just aren't enough laps unless he wrecks. Six. 
Yeah, I wish Mil Milksboro was in it. I ho I keep hoping that they'll find a way to get North Wilkesboro, Hickory, Nashville in here. Some of those lost tracks. More than that, though, I really want to, like, late 80s, early 90s, uh, historic NASCAR car to make it in. Nazareth would be awesome. I'm taking chunks out of the advantage that the 16 has. It's down to 4.9. iRacing, please give us a classic NASCAR series. You've done historic stuff on the roadside. We won a NASCAR Legends series badly. It's 4.3 seconds. They're going to lap him. That's going to drop him a lot. Three point four seconds. I'm just running out of laps. There's the top ten. I've only got two laps to get there, though. And I don't think I'm going to get there. It's just I'm going to run out of time. Unfortunately. Uh, not Swade, Alcantara. One more bit in NASCAR. Thank you much, my man. Really appreciate it. Final lap. Cut it down to two and a half seconds. I'm just not going to get there. Thank you, good wreck. Nice win, Riley. Well, on the top. Yeah, I think the on. On the top. Nope. Yeah, Son of a gun. Nice right, that's done. Yeah, good stuff, man. Alcantara's a uh, non-animal at base. I don't think it's a composite thing. Well, that was a lot better than what it could have been. That just stings. So disappointing when you get taken out like that that early. There's nothing that I could do. Go in. Yeah, the 10 kind of comes down on him and when he overcorrects it, it just sent him right up into me. There is contact there. Oh, and I just got absolutely hammered. <laughs> there was no driving it out of that either. Potak gets stuck on the wall. How much was the wheel? Um... I think they're like 500 or something like that. But, you know, the whole thing cost me, uh, the whole setup, wheel pedals and shifter, cost me about a thousand. Can't wait till they get the new damage model. Oh yeah, no, it's a, it's a nice wheel. I mean, the wheel rim itself was like a hundred, I think, or maybe a little bit less than that. Whew. 
Oh, well. No, I haven't gotten a new wheel for a while. Not since I got the Fanatec. <laughs> yeah, Brophy, it's just another one of those bad finishes for me at Five Flags. I just can't catch a break this week. Yeah, that's it for tonight. Call it a night. Um, so tomorrow I've got a meeting with my local progressive group talking about next steps. So it'll be another late night stream uh, if I'm able to make it on. Thursday night's NIS fixed at Chicago. Ugh, I ratings down to 37.87. Lost another 43 there. Gained .02 SR, so you know, at least that's something for completing all the laps. Whew. Just disappointing. I know that I had speed to at least, you know, to run top three. Yeah, next step's a direct drive. But before I upgrade to a direct drive wheel, uh... I'm going to get um, – can't believe that the credits just don't work. And I don't know why. It's just not working. So thanks to NASCAR Nerd for all the biddies. Um, and OMG, uh, it's Heisenberg for the follow. I think that was while I was offline. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for hanging out. Um, Chicago really is a driver's track. You got to win at Kentucky, and the IndyCar is very nice. Uh, NASCAR, man, yeah, thank, thank you very much for the biddies. I'm going to find someone to send you guys to. Disappointed that I 